They know that I need the right electricity to move my disco feet. They know that I need a rhythm of ecstasy to get the disco feet. Baby, give me the song that keeps rolling on that long until the break of dawn. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you like a small little tutorial on what I do when I get to a new lake. Um, you might you might have seen my old videos of where I was talking about what I do uh, when I get to a new lake, but I've kind of changed some things up and I wanna bring it down to you. So first off, I'm gonna start off with a moving bait. Um, I'm looking to see if the fish are really active when I'm here. Um, Post frontal conditions, bluebird skies, it's a tough day. But I'm starting in the back of this cove and I'm working my way out of the cove. And because after those fish spawn in these coves and stuff like that, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna move out. It just means that, you know, they're gonna be lazy and lethargic. And, uh... but since the spawn has happened about three weeks ago, um, I have been sort of keeping track. Now, the last video that you guys seen, you guys seen that largemouth. Um, if hopefully you did the large mouth just came up for that top water ever so subtle and just sucked it under he's tired He's beat up. She's beat up They're sitting there trying to regroup from all the spawning and everything like that That's why you guys see a lot of bluegill die-offs carp die-offs and stuff like that is because those fish are really tired and they kill themselves basically Due to spawning which is a shame, but it's part of it's part of nature um so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start out here with some top water and a chatterbait. I'm gonna go through all that, see what happens there. And then I'm gonna switch down to a jig and start flipping some stuff. I'm gonna keep the top water on also. Sankos, flukes, just try to figure out what the fish are telling you. Sometimes they're screaming at you, but you have to listen. And that's a Gerald Swindle quote. Like the dude said it pretty, pretty, the best that I've ever heard, heard it put. The fish sometimes are screaming at you. They're, they're telling you what they want, but you have to listen to them. So let's get on it. A lot of fish here are eating bluegill. Um, I'm, I've never seen any crayfish coming out of these fish's mouths, but doesn't mean that they're not in here. Um, bluegill, perch, crappie. So that's what we're gonna stick to, moving baits that look such as that. And then uh, we'll, we'll start to go down and um, uh, work on the bottom, so. Hopefully that'll help you a little bit. Let's see if we can't get a fish to show you guys. Well, I need a good rod. I have a seven three quarter heavy big bear rod. That's exactly why you have it. For grass like that. Oh, he ate it too. A little fucking perch action this morning. Ooh, he got hit pretty good there. Look at it. It's all beat up. I'm gonna get him off the hook. And these fish in this real thick, nasty black grass. So people, 